everyone, it's Kaylee here for Soy and Shane. Thank you so much for joining me for today's soap making video. I am using one of the fragrance oils that I have had sitting in my container out the back for a little while called Pineapple and Peach. I have put off using this one because when I first got it in, I was expecting it to be quite strong in its aroma. And when I opened it up, it really wasn't. So it's kind of just sat in the box. It wasn't what I was expecting. But once it hits the soap, oh my goodness, it is such a beautiful scent. It's got sweetness and it's got floral and it was a real surprise once I'd got it in there. Let's go and check out how I make pineapple and peach. Let's go. All right, so let's start this soap off as we always do by tipping our lime water into our oils. Going nice and slow to make sure we don't get any splashback. Gonna mix them up and then I will separate them out for the colors. So we are all mixed up, ready to do the colors. I have got in this jug, I've got one called Nectarine and I'm gonna go about half, just over halfway. We'll go over halfway because I went a bit more than I thought. <laughs> in this one here, I have some Wellington Mica. It is such a beautiful, rich yellow. I'm gonna pour off the same amount into that one. And then in here, I have some green and I'm gonna, not pour as much off on that one. Into my big pot, I am gonna add some titanium dioxide so we can have a white base. According to the supplier page, there is no vanillin in this one, despite it being a sweet fragrance. So that's all mixed in. I'll give them a better mix in a moment once we get the fragrance in. And today I'm using pineapple and peach. And I've had this fragrance sitting in my little stash for quite some time now. And I've just never been bothered to make the in-beds because this I got it before I made my soap dough recipe and I didn't want to use the classic um, ice tray mold pineapples for it. I wanted something a little bit more special for it. But now I've got that in bed. Oh, look at the color that's gone. Ew, that's gross. <laughs> it's gone blue. Anyway, <laughs> I know that I've got my soap dough recipe um, and I can make some pineapples and peaches and stuff. I knew exactly what I wanted to do for this soap. That has gone a really weird color. I'm hoping that turns back. It says it has no vanillin, but it's certainly got something in there. It's got notes of raspberry, pineapple, jasmine, peach, um, vanilla, and musk. So having that vanilla and musk base, I'm surprised it says no vanillin. There'll be some ET vanillin in there, I reckon, which will cause it possibly to discolor a little, but shouldn't have made it go blue. Oh, oh well. Let me get these colors all mixed in and then we will start pouring them into the mold and just hope for the best that this one stays a really pretty color. It does smell really good. It's actually, um, given that it's called pineapple and peach, you'd think that it was really sickly sweet, but it does have that floral touch to it as well, which kind of doesn't make it sickly sweet. And it's just got this really, you keep going back to have another smell of it sort of thing. But I can see because of that floral, this is starting to move a little bit quicker. So I'll stop talking and get mixing. All right, so we've got all that mixed in. And what I'm gonna do, I was gonna do just a, a standard drop pour, which I seem to be doing a lot of lately, but I decided I'd change my mind just before I turned the camera on. These cloths are clean. I washed them this weekend. They just look grotty. Anyway, what we're gonna do is get a nice big jug because we love washing up pots. I'm gonna pour these two in there like so. And get as much of that out as possible. Leave just a little bit for the top of the soap. I'm gonna get that yellow. Oh, it smells really good. I'd say it's almost a lotion-y smell, this one. And then what I'm gonna do with my green is I'm gonna 
drop pour like so. Who knows whether we're going to end up with a nice looking soap or an absolute mess. It was just something I thought, oh, I'm going to try this. All right. Okay, so we've got the mold and I'm going to do my usual style. Oh, this is getting nice and thick. So <laughs> give that a bit of a stir just to loosen it up just a little bit. I'm going to pour about half in there like so. I'm going to pour this one in here. Actually, no, you know what? We're going to do it as a drop. I was going to see if I could get the curly whirlies going, but you know what? I think we're just going to go for a drop. So we'll pour pretty much all of that and then we're going to drop this in. I did have some very strong urges to put a chopstick through but I'm I'm just gonna leave it as drops I think and see what sort of swirl we get from adding all those colors into the one pot and doing it the way I did I'm just gonna do a little bit of a textured top on here I have some embeds to go on and I want them each to have one side of the soap each and this is a really good way just to kind of give them each their own space. You'll see what I mean when we get there. So it's really appropriate. We're doing this pineapple um, soap and look, we got pineapple sleeves and pineapple apron on. These were the ones that were sent to me and I've also got the pineapple hat as well to go with it. And look, we have pineapple embeds plus some little peaches. I made all of these with my soap dough recipe and that is one of the little pineapples i've even got the little bottoms on them and then for my peaches we have this tiny tiny little peach and then we also have the little peach half as well now i have taken my gloves off because i just find this so much easier to do without my gloves on i don't seem to get in as much mess but what i'm going to do is put a pineapple onto the side of each of these and then on the other side we're going to put a little peach and then our little peach half on the bottom as well so we end up with both of our fruits on there so I'm going to get all of these on here now I know some of you have said that you really miss the sort of midweek videos I do where I was doing the um, embeds and as much as I really want to bring them back, it's very, very hard to actually film them. I mainly make my embeds during the day when I'm in the shop and I don't generally have the camera, unless I'm doing a vlog, I don't generally have the camera running um, because, well, A, we've got customers coming and going out the shop, plus there is also a lot of noise. So any sort of um, video that I do showing how I make the embeds are gonna be silent. So what I now do instead is um, when I make certain embeds, I didn't on these ones, I'm afraid, um, but when I do make some of the embeds, I'm making them as reels to go up over on Instagram so you can come and follow me there. Um, I do also throw them up on TikTok as well so if anyone wants to go over there and watch um, on TikTok um, and I do occasionally also throw them up as a short onto, um, onto YouTube as well seeing as they now have that sort of facility. So at this stage while I'm in the setup that I'm in I'm afraid there's not going to be any more of the sort of midweek how I make the embed ones. I'm starting to get myself caught up so I should be able to bring some more of the sort of midweek videos out. Um, I just need to make sure I've got enough videos so that when I do hit the busy time again I'm not constantly fighting to stay ahead. So it might just, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully I can start bringing them back again for you guys that do like to see that midweek one. Though to be honest, the midweek videos usually get about a third to a half of the views that the weekend video gets, no matter what the content is. So it's a lot of work for um, if nobody's watching them. 
<laughs> I don't mind, uh, you know, it's not about the money on them or anything, but if only a handful of people are actually watching them, it's an awful lot of work to take out of my day to actually edit them if they're not getting watched. So we'll see how things go, whether or not I will bring them back. But at the moment I am trying to bring them back maybe in about the middle of the year. So just giving it a quick dusting with some blizzard mica just to give it that beautiful shine and there it is so there are all the little pineapples you can even see the little cross hatch on them as well and then if i can move around we've got all of our peaches as well it is looking good smells really good and i can't wait to get this one cut open we'll be back in just a moment and we'll take a look okay we are back to cut into pineapple and peach and it looks and smells just so good um i did take a little bit to get it out the mold the sides have come out really nice but again i've got a little bit of a, a wonky end but i finally 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 managed to get myself a soap planer here in australia i've asked so many people who have you know done soap cutters and things whether or not they'll do a planer and nobody ever has and then i spotted on a sort of advert on my stories on instagram one day a little aussie business um, that was promoting that they did soap planers so i finally have a soap planer so i'll be able to plane the ends of my soap so i'm not too worried that it's a little bit wonky damaged just getting this one lined up and let's go for those of you in Australia who are interested in the soap planner and they also have some pretty amazing molds there's one there that I really want to get my hands on um, they are called crafted surprise and I'll leave a link down below and they've got some other really cool tools on there as well um, but the soap planner has been really good to get let me go ooh, from this end look at that it looks like a peach has dropped to the bottom of that piece of soap just in there very very plain but very very elegant as well like how that piece is hopefully we get a bit more color as we move along oh look at that i love how that's come out that's, I'm just trying to think how I did the pour and that's right we poured the orange and the yellow in and then did an in the pot with that green oh that has come up absolutely beautiful oh I really like that I'm only showing you the one side because <laughs> they're both the same on that side just a mirror image but really really pleased and I love how all the colors just flow through into the top of that soap as well and oh wow just so so pleased with how this one has come together better than what i was kind of imagining when i unmolded it and i saw that on the bottom i thought oh no all my colors gone to the bottom of this soap i'm not sure what we're going to get but i absolutely love how the colors have come together and that is the top so we got our little peach peach half and then the little half pineapple on there as well let's grab a couple from down here and have a look and we still got those beautiful drops i'm glad i didn't put the hanger through it or anything i was so tempted to do so but no i really like how those drops i don't think i put the hanger through it no i couldn't have oh i'm telling you since i've been on this new medication i have had such brain fog i just things are disappearing out of my head that never used to disappear from out of my head and i can't remember what i did yesterday <laughs> moment i'm hoping the longer i stay on it the more this brain fog is actually gonna lift so i can actually i can't even remember words half the time it's been absolutely awful <laughs> but, but the results are really good but um hopefully i mean i'm telling you this 
in March my time hopefully by the time this video goes up I won't have this awful brain fog anymore but I don't think I put the hanger or a chopstick through there and I'm pretty pleased I didn't and just left it for those drops really really happy with it there is another one so I hope you have enjoyed coming along as I did the peach and pineapple soap it smells absolutely amazing if you did enjoy it why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below it really does help to get the videos out and until the next video i hope you have a great one and i will see you then bye